Keeps your boy T-Money up in the heezy. Happy Wednesday, Thursday. Happy Thursday. Um, so, just got out of work a little while ago. Super long day. Uh, went to the UPS store, picked up my packages. So, I've actually got like six packages to unbox for you guys tonight. Didn't have a chance to unload any, open anything except for one. I got to show you guys this. You ready? So, I called my buddy earlier today at the UPS store and I was like, yo, as I usually do, uh, any packages come in the mail? Sure enough, he's like, dude, you're going to be super pissed. This package came in from Amazon uh, Germany and it looked like this, okay? So then, come to find out, <laughs> this is the end result of the Shining media book, or uh, steel book, uh, rather, that I ordered from Amazon Germany. This thing is fucking like a 45 degree angle. Look at that, motherfucker. In all my days of ordering things, I've never, ever, this thing was got, had to have been run over by a truck. I mean, literally. It's a steel book. The crazy thing about it, though, is that the disc was actually in pristine condition. So, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to stress it, but um, I did actually place, obviously, a replacement order. Uh, I Yeah, I would throw this in the trash normally, but I'm going to have to mail it back to them. So, that's that. That's my Shining Media book, or Steel book, that I ordered. Um, everything's in German here, so I can't really uh show you or read you any of the specs or anything on it like that but uh it's a really cool i mean if it were in good condition obviously it's i really dug the artwork and um the interior as well um i don't know really why i'm showing you this it's destroyed but like it's a cool still shot of uh what's her name i always forget her name um Shelly Duval, that's right. All right. So anyways, yeah, when this comes like a month from now, because it usually takes like three, four weeks for these to get shipped from uh, Germany or Amazon Germany. But anyway, yeah, so crazy. All right. So on to the packages now that I have not opened up. Um, that is quite the stack, I would say myself. I, it's just going to be an assortment of stuff. There's no diabolic in here. It's mostly Amazon Germany uh ebay and ronin and uh dark force entertainment so um so let's get right into this um uh, i'm gonna go with the package from lucon pictures first because i have no idea what's in this um so bear with me for a sec while i open this puppy up so cool so it's robot wars from full moon entertainment uh, I actually saw my buddy Celluloid Terror, shout out to you, do a review on this one and it sounded fun, so I had to grab it. I've actually never seen this movie. So, yeah, super stoked on that. Sorry, there's some people arguing upstairs. Um, but, uh, let's see. So next up we have a package from eBay as well. This one is from a random person. Um, oh, awesome. So, okay, so this is a shut up and I'll just show you, right? I just don't want to damage anything. You good? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Tried to save you. You from did? Dad. Oh, from Dad? Yeah, I know. Got water! Water! <laughs> Tori? My Italian pops. Hey, you got any water, Tori? I'm doing a video, Frank. Oh, wait. Are you still on? Yeah, I'm on. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's all good. I don't give a shit. Um, Alright, so I'm trying to get this open without fucking finagling it. Or, I mean, what am I trying to say? Destroying it. I'm struggling a little bit. All right, so it is the Reptile Hammer Replay. Yes, I'm a psycho. I had to get the slipcover on this because I got gypped on my last one. So what I will be doing is I will be selling this copy right here. Any of you guys want this? It's yours for the fair price of $15 shipped. I paid $20 for it shipped with the slipcover. Um, and so I feel like it's a fair price to knock off $5 for a slipcover that's like kind of still in print, sort of, although I didn't get one with my first copy. Um, but yeah, oh, there's a loose disc in here, so let's make sure <laughs> as I'm pimping it out to you guys. Hey, anybody want to buy a loose disc? Perfectly fine, though. It was the Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, I had to grab this with the slip because I, and normally I'm not like, I don't need a slipcover, but when I have an entire line... And every movie that I order has a slipcover. I need it to be in sync. I'm just, I am OC in that sense. So anyway, that's dope. Hammer, uh, or the reptile. Um, next up, we have a package from 
Um, let's see. Dark Force Entertainment, but actually we'll be right back after these brief messages. Catch you soon. It's like I didn't even go anywhere. The magic of editing. Alright, so, um, so, where were we? We left off with a Dark Force, uh, entertainment disc. Now, the movie that's in here I actually already have, but just listen. Hear me out. Um, it is one of the earlier Code Red releases, and it's a rare one. Um, and I noticed that Dark Force, you know, kind of puts things up on their website from time to time. Very limited numbers. So when I saw there were only 10 of these, I jumped on it just for kind of, um, what's it called? It's not resale value, but like down the road, you know, like maybe, um, what do they call that? Uh, investig investing purposes, I guess. I don't know. Maybe to flip it down the road and make some money. Because all this movie buying I do, you know, once in a while it's nice to be able to make something back. Anyway... I'm glad that I did that. I don't regret it at all because literally I logged on, purchased the movie, and then a half hour later I logged back on and it was sold out. So, anyway, it's from Dark Force Entertainment and it's very nicely wrapped, um, which is cool. Um, and let me just open this up because I don't want to, so as not to open the cellophane wrapping on here so i just gotta do it gently but the movie that i ordered has also recently got a german release as well um from cmv laser vision but it is the classic neon maniacs i really love this movie this is a code red release number 11 this may be a i'll have to check because i probably have the original release um in my collection i think they re-released it briefly but anyway yeah so had to grab this one old school code red classicness pretty good price on it as well so that's that robot wars code red um the shining the reptile next up let's get into this guy right here from ascendia uh it's the swiss post basically but it's from amazon germany um and it is a um indicator release called the little murders and this is a movie i've never seen before um, it is number 73 on the indicator line. You guys know indicator by now. They're great. Um, look at all those special features on the back of that release, man. You just can't go wrong. Indicator is awesome. Sorry about the glare. Can't really do much about it, but you can probably zoom in. Um, anyway, Jules Pfeiffer's Little Mur in Little Mur in, sorry, Jules Pfeiffer's Little Murders, um, directed by Alan Arkin. Who did some kind of cool stuff, right? Um, I know he did. Uh, but uh, there's no synopsis on this one. But um, it stars Donald Sutherland, uh, Lou Jacoby, and Alan Arkin as the detective. And it's also directed by him as well. So really cool. The Little Murders. And the film is from 1971. Um, and always in indicator fashion, you do get um, like a nice fatty booklet with stills and stuff from the film. I actually am going to open this up to show you guys. Nice booklet inside. Just chocked full of information about the director in the film. And reversible cover artwork always. And what I love about the reversible is it's the same cover artwork, but it just doesn't have the uh, UK ratings logo. And, you know, I know I've said that many times before, but I love how the companies give you that option. It wasn't always that way, so. Boom. Awesome. Dude, when you get up, the whole couch shifts. So Sorry. Just be careful. Uh, all right, next up we have a package from um, Ascendia as well, Amazon Germany as well. The stuff that did not get damaged. Awesome. So we have two media books in here. Really stoked on both of these. And actually, we have Amityville 2, The Possession. Now, this one is number 255 out of 333, and this is cover A. And I just kind of dug that. It's very simplistic, but I like it a lot. For collector purposes, I purchased this. And this one, I, I like even more. Amityville 2, The Possession, uh, number 31 out of 333. Uh, and this is cover D. So it seems like they made four different Amityville 2 releases, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I love M NSM Records, and I love what they do. I mean, they put out some amazing stuff. NSM, 
Uh, so Amityville 2 to the times 2. It's weird how one of them says Am Amityville 2 and the other one says Amityville, like, with the numerals. But, um, yeah, sexy. I love this film. It's a great movie. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's actually my favorite Amityville film in the whole franchise, and there are a lot of them, so. Um, I guess we can open up, open them up. They are mine forever to keep. I was thinking about just keeping them for collector purposes because I do have the Scream Factory uh, box set that has all three films, or the trilogy, or the first three films, not the trilogy. You know what I mean. But, um, but yeah, so just really nice. Amityville Possession, actually written in English. That's nice. Um, just still some beautiful stills from the movie. I love this movie so much. It's so good. That end scene is fucking creepy as hell, man. When he's in the room and he's like possessed to the max right there. Um, it's a great movie. Great, 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 great movie. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Really good. So highly recommend, uh, Amityville 2 if you guys haven't seen it. And obviously I love it so much. I had to go deuce on it. Um, and last but not least, guys, the long-awaited, highly anticipated package from Ronin, movie rather, uh, this is their re-release of one of my favorite slasher movies ever. I know this has been shown a few times now, um, and they did remember my magnet, that's awesome, which I believe is now sold out, but I actually couldn't figure out how to get this, um, whatchamacallit, um, the like to type in the little thing, the code in the checkout section to get this. But so I contacted them because I ordered this pretty soon and they gave it to me. So I have number 37 out of 1600. That's awesome. So they gave me a really low number. Um, and it's awesome. So this is the, there's a brand new scan of this movie from the original inner negative. So this will be really interesting to see because I think this movie is going to be the best it's ever looked hands down. And I'm talking better than the original Scorpion release. Better than the 88 films release. I mean, like, come on. They put a lot of time and effort into this release. It's been talked about for a while now, so I can't wait to check it out. Um, and I'm stoked that I got such a low number, too. 37 out of 1,600. That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see if I can get this open without damaging anything. Yep. And I'm debating whether or not I'm going to actually put the uh, slip cover. I dig that reversible artwork as well. Uh, whether I'm going to put the magnet that comes with it inside the disc for keepsake or put it up on the heater behind me. But for now, I'm just going to throw it right in there. I actually really dig that artwork, too. That's really cool. I've never seen that artwork for the film before. So, um, man, House and Sorority Row has a lot of artworks now between the uh, this original DVD poster artwork and then the 88 Films commissioned artwork, which was pretty sweet. And then you've got, I like how they give you that too on the actual disc, the original theatrical uh, DVD artwork. And then you get this cool artwork for the reversible. And then you get this cool artwork for the slip. I mean, three, that's awesome. It's just classy. Or it's just being like creative and utilizing things. I also really like how these slips don't have any like um, punch holes in them or whatever, the little squares. I don't, I don't really understand the reasoning behind that. I'm sure there's a technical reason, but so sweet. Really happy to have this as well. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it at that. That's my update for today. Got some awesome stuff in. House on Sorority Row, The Reptile, Amityville 2 times 2, Media Books from Germany, Little Murders, Robot Wars, and Neon Maniacs, Blu-ray. So awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the flip side. Have a great night. Talk to you later. Peace.